This is Discovering the Scriptures with Dr. Peter John Parises. We are in Daniel chapter 3, verse 6. There's a lot here, so let's start off with prayer first. Dear God, please help us to hear your Holy Spirit's teachings today. Help us to grow closer to you, to love you more, and to love others as you want us to love. And help this to get knowledge from the scripture and to see how each and every one of these verses apply to not only the Old Testament but the New Testament, to the message of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Please speak with us as we give you a moment of silence before we start. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Thank you. Now, reading in the King James Version first. Quote, And whoso falleth not down and worshipeth, shall the same hour be cast into the midst of a burning, fierce fire. Unquote. Now, I'm going to read this from the ESV, English Standard Version. Quote, And whoever does not fall down and worship shall immediately be cast into a burning, fierce furnace. Unquote. And I'm going to read this from the ASV, the American Standard Version. Quote, And whoso falleth not down and worshipeth, shall the same hour be cast into the midst of a burning, fierce furnace. Unquote. And now, I'm reading this from the Young's Literal Translation. Quote, And whoso doth not fall down and do obediency, in that hour he is cast into the midst of a burning, fierce furnace. Unquote. The Geneva Version from 1599, quote, And whoso falleth not down and worshipeth, shall the same hour be cast into the midst of a hot, fierce furnace, end quote. I'm going to read the complete Jewish Bible, quote, Whoso does not fall down and worship is to be thrown immediately into a blazing hot furnace, end quote. Now the reason I read all these versions and we are going to read this in context here in a minute. Is I want you to see something. A lot of these are talking about in that same hour. They're talking about a span of time. Some say immediately. Let's look at the raw translation and see what happens with the international. Quote, Im immediately be cast and worship says fall down and not down and who burning thee in fierce a furnace into the midst of shall be cast unquote now we want to look at the very first word it says immediately now this can be translated as a brief time or moment and it is a noun it's in a feminine singular determinant so what does all this mean it means that you can look at this as a brief a moment immediately, but it doesn't say in that same hour. Now, can how does it taking this? How can it be translated in that same hour? Here's why. William Tyndale did the translation of the modern English New Testament and some of the books of the Old Testament. And his friend, Miles Coverdale, did a translation of the Old Testament also. What's going on here is that they're back in the time frame where they had to make fires to cook, heat the house, all those things. So they know how long it takes to build, for instance, a bonfire, a big fire. So if you're going to burn somebody alive, several people, you're going to need time to get the fire started, get it blazing hot so that it will kill people, and throw them in it. Will it take an hour to do so? Probably. That is why they took the liberty in some of these translations of saying in an hour. They're given a space of time because it is a process. They will be cast in when the fire is made. 
now that we understand why these translations did this, there's nothing wrong with it. But you always want to look and see why is there something going on that's different. Why does it say immediately? Why does it say in the same hour? What's happening here? So you want to go and look at the raw translation. I also looked at the portion of this to make sure I was on cue before going in on this. So these are the tools that you need to look at. Now, we need to look at this in context also to make sure that we're not pulling anything out. So that's our next step of studying the Bible here. Read in context the first paragraph of Daniel chapter 3. Reading from the King James Bible, quote, Nebuchadnezzar, the king, made an idol of gold, whose height was three score cubics, and the breadth thereof six cubics. He set it up in the plain of Dura, in the province of Babylon. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king sent to gather together the princes, the governors, and the captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs, and all the rulers of the provinces to come to the dedication of the image which Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. Then the princes, the governors, the captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs, and all the rulers of the provinces were gathered together unto the dedication of the image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up, and they stood before the image that Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Then an herald cried aloud, To you is commanded, O people, nations, and languages, that at what time ye hear the sound of the coronet, flute, harp, sackbut, psalmstry, dulcimer, and all kinds of music, you fall down and worship the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king hath set up. And whoso falleth not down and worshipeth, shall the same hour be cast into the midst of a burning, fierce furnace. Unquote. Our next step now is to go ahead and parse out this verse. And whoso falleth not down. Now, remember that Daniel is writing in Aramaic here, in the court's language. So we're going to parse out the Aramaic for down. It's a PL stem, so it's casually spoken. It's imperfect, so it has not been completed. And worshipeth. Let's look at that. It's a PL stem, an imperfect aspect. So it's casual, and it is not been a completed action. Shall the same hour be cast? Let's look at the and cast, or be cast. That is an IPL stem, and imperfect aspect. So it's not a completed action, but it is mostly looking at the reflective of the intensive stem. So they're reflecting on this intense verb to be cast into the midst of a burning let's look at of a burning that's PL active um, participle so it is something that's casually done but is also an active participle so to be of a burning fierce furnace Now, one thing that you don't hear me speak much of is when I'm comparing how Daniel is writing. Does he use certain words any other place in his writings to give us an understanding of what they mean? That's because I'm checking them. And if I find something that does not have the meaning that it's supposed to have, that we're reading, that we would commonly think, then I'm going to point it out. Now, I've been going through the verse, and the one that I, I do want to point out right now is be cast that he uses in this verse and I'm reading through this and he uses this word several times once in Daniel 3 6 again in 3 11 3 15 and then later on still writing Aramaic Daniel 6 7 and 6 12 and each time it means to be thrown to be cast to be thrown is the is a definition so I am checking these and I am cross-referencing in the author's book, since he's writing in Aramaic. I'm not looking into Hebrew because it doesn't apply. We're in a different language. Another one of the words that are being written here, I want to take a look at, since we're going to work with this later on also, is into the midst. 
He wrote it in Daniel 3.6, Daniel 3.11, 3.15, 3.21, Verse 23 and 24, all of these are using the same, basically they're talking about a placement within the midst of, is what they're talking of. And then we're also looking at of a burning. And he does this in Daniel 3, 6, 3, 11, and 3, 15. All of them have the same meaning. Now, one thing that I did look at was the word for immediately or within that same hour. In this case, in the King James Version, it says, shall in the same hour. That there, when we go to look at the def the uh, writing, Daniel never uses it anyplace else. So when we look at the definition of this word, and we go in to take a look and see what the Aramaic uh, translation of it, it means brief time, moment. Some of them can say in an hour. So it means the same thing. It means that it's going to be done immediately. They're going to make the fire and they're going to throw you in. So they're making the fire. This gives you time to bow down and worship and think about you're going to lose your life. And if you don't do it, by the time the fire is done, you're going to be thrown in. And I'm pretty sure you're going to be standing there watching this happening. But that is what I think, because that's what it seems like. This is one of the reasons why it's very important that you look at your scriptures and you parse it out to find out what is going on. Now, we're going to go ahead and look at the commentaries on this particular verse. We're going to go ahead and read and look at John Gill's commentary. Maybe because there's something here as a footnote at the very end that I think is worth noting as we study the Bible. Quote, And whoso falleth not down and worshipeth, who refuses to worship it, or willfully neglects it, which would be interpreted a contempt of it, and of the king's command, shall in the same hour be cast into the midst of a burning fierce furnace such as were used to burn stones in for lime, as Jerkin observes, the music was to draw, the furnace was to drive men to this idolatrous worship, the one was to please and soothe the minds of men, and to allure them to such stupid service, the other to frighten them into obediency. This is the first time that mention is made of, quote, hours, unquote in the sacred scriptures. It was probably the inventions of the Chaldeans or Babylonians. For Herodotus, and this is where it's important for me to give you the spelling, H-E-R-O-D-O-T-U-S. This was an ancient Greek historian who was born 484 years before Christ. So he was during the Persian Empire. He writes this and tells us, in John Gill's here, is quoting him, says the Greeks received the twelfth parts of the day from the Babylonians. So this is the first mention of hours in the Bible, and here's where it is attributed to come from. So now we see that the translation being used here was part of the Chaldeans, the Babylonians, culture. This is the Aramaic, which is the court's language of the Chaldeans that Daniel is using. And he is using immediately. It could also be translated into a brief moment, or in this case, same hour, because we're taking into account how long it takes to burn or to bring the men down, of which is still a good translation. But we still need to note this and look at this. Now we're coming up to some really good revelations of scripture here of who did not fall down, who was present and who was absent. But you're going to have to continue listening as I go along. Now if you like these broadcasts, please help support this here on YouTube. You can do so by clicking on the ads and allowing them to pop up in other places because I get paid 
from YouTube by each ad that's clicked on by you and then the people whose ads are running whether you listen to them or not actually pay up a small portion of support to myself I'm also looking for partners to help bring this into a nonprofit status so we can turn this into a radio broadcast internationally I am working between 40 to 60 hours a week at my job which does not pay a lot to help pay my bills so I do need your assistance to take this further and you can definitely support me by telling others and by telling them to also click on the ads so that I can make money to help bring this to fruition. Thank you and may God richly bless you.